believe or not, bacteriology almost covers your 60 percentage of microbiology. Majority of questions will be asked from bacteriology only. So that is to general bacteriology has good weightage. So if you are uh, thorough with general bacteriology, you're going to get maximum in your microbiology. I mean, it, it depends on uh, sometimes it, you know, it can change, but general bacteriology is definitely important topic, easy topic and very nice topic. I am so glad and happy to, you know, uh, come to general bacteriology. So let's discuss, not waste the time. Okay, so bacteriology and the discoveries are important. So let's see who discovered what. Okay, first let's start with the uh, club low plus bacilli. Do you get any hint? What is this club low low plus bacilli? Do you get any hint? What is club low plus? The the term low plus does it gives you any uh, uh any any hint any hint low plus? Where did you see that low plus media? Low plus media was used in. Low plus media, low plus serum slow. It's used in diphtheria. So it is very easy. So you don't have to confuse too much. So this is for your C diphtheria, Corona bacterium diphtheria. Corona bacterium diphtheria was invent other name for this is called club low plus bacilli, or he's the one who invented it. Okay. Club low plus bacilli. Okay. Now Cox week. Cox week, how to remember? You know Cox. Cog, what does he do? Cog usually weekends may kahan jata hai. Cog on weekends, he goes to where weekends may kahan jata He goes to Egypt. 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 E G Y P T. Cog weekend may Egypt jata hai. So, uska naam kya hai? Hemophilus Egypticus. E G Y P T I C U S. Hemophilus Egypticus. Okay. Hemophilus Egypticus. Cog. Cog weekend may goes to Egypt. Very easy. So, you will not forget it. Bit more. Bit more. You know, white more or with more, uh, you can uh, remember Malai, Malai, right? Burgolderia, Malai, but this is pseudo Malai, pseudo Malai, pseudo Malai, pseudo Malai, pseudo Malai, Malai is white color, right? Pseudo Malai is white color, it's white color, okay? Malai is white color, that's what we call Burgolderia, pseudo Malai. Another name is with more. Betty, kisko betty bolti hai? Betty, betty, betty. Betty, kyo ne betty? Avi is a betty. Avi is a betty. Avi is betty. Avi is a chota betty. So, what is that? Why call Avi? Avi? Avi is a betty. Usko matlab kya hai? Usko matlab ye ye Mac. Mac, other name is betty. That is uh, Mycobacterium avium intracellulare. Mycobacterium avi Mycobacterium avium intracellulare. Intra cellular okay microbiome of you mineral cellular pipers pipa is simply you know lot of f is there f f f okay when you say five five when do you say five 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 when do you say when you get h influence h influence h influence when you get h influence you give a wi-fi or high fi you know high fi or five five you know it's, you can dance with h influence okay got it influence ff five five so it is a pfizer Pipers bacillus, other name is H infancy. Fried landers, fried landers, kone, 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 fried landers. can you give me a clue? Who is that alcoholic guys? Alcoholic guys, they eat fried items, fried items uh, during what? During uh, when they're drinking alcohol for taste, you know, for spicy, they eat fried items. So, who is that? Which bacteria is that? Which bacteria is that? Which bacteria is that? Which bacteria is that? You get a uh, sputum is very. Very, uh, you know, it's a uh, jelly color sputum, jelly, jelly color. Did you get a clue? Yes, you're right, Klebsiella. Klebsiella pneumonia, okay? Klebsiella pneumonia is fried landers. Fried landers, basically. Klebsiella pneumonia, okay? Klebsiella. So don't forget, Klebsiella is for alcoholic patient. If you remember, there is a bulging fissure sign in the x-ray. Okay, those things, typical pneumonia may it comes, okay? So don't alcoholic or current jelly sputum. That is the important feature for Klebsiella pneumonia. We will talk there in individual. Okay, don't worry. Now, Eaton. Eaton agent is very simple. Are, are you guessing what? Are you getting worse? Who eats, who eats, uh, who eats the fried egg? Fried egg? Who eats the fried egg? I think you guys already got the clue. I gave you the clue. Fried egg. Who eats the fried egg? Fried egg. Our Diana. Oh, what is this? Diana? Diana can't say aya. Diane's method. You remember Diane's, Diane's method. M for Diane. M that is for mycoplasma. Mycoplasma. Myco. Plasma, mycoplasma, very simple. See, mycoplasma, plasma means it has uh, the, the, the cell, there is no proper cell, it has a cholesterol on thing. Cholesterol is like, you know, like a fat, fat. So, it's called, they say, anda. So, who likes, who likes to eat? Diana, Diana likes to eat the fried egg. 
that's what it is mycoplasma mycoplasma is so interesting a lot of things it will come in the future right now remember this okay so these are the different types of uh bacillus and the founders or the who discovered it okay now structure of the bacteria when you go to the structure of the bacteria, you guys know that there are only two forms. What are they? There are either vegetative form, vegetative form, or other one is the spore form, spore form, spore form, spore form. Whenever there's unfavorable condition, the bacteria becomes a spore. And when the condition becomes favorable, favorable, then what happened? Your spore will convert into the vegetative form and it causes the infection. Vegetative form and it causes all the infections in the human. Okay, or wherever. Now, cell, uh, cell structures. When you talk about a cell structure, you know, now cell structure is important. Why cell structure is important? Because based on that only, we are going to stain it, we are going to identify it, and then accordingly, we'll do, you know, a lot of uh, diagnosis is based on that only. You have to know that one. Okay, so when you talk about a bacteria structure, bacteria is very simple. It's a simple, you know, it is a prokaryote. So what the things are here? So if you see, let's start. So there is a central, there is a DNA. There is no nucleus, it's a nucleoid material. It's called DNA, right? Number one. And then around that, there's a cytoplasm. In cytoplasm, you can see what are the things. You can see ribosome. You can see all other uh, plasmids and everything you can see. Right? Got it? So these are the internal things. Now, the next one, the cytoplasm and all these structures are present. Next one is your cell membrane or plasma membrane, number two. And after plasma membrane comes your cell wall. Then outermost, cell wall is three. And then outermost comes your, which one? Your capsule, capsule number four the protective layer, right? And the appendages are there. They are either flagella or pili. Flagella for motility, pili is for the attachment. You know that one. Pili is for attachment and flagella is for motility. Now, let's go to the individual. So now the, the, the question asks, the bacteria cell membrane with sterols, which is that? Which is that? I just told you. Which is that uh, bacteria that has sterols or cholesterol? Then there's cholesterol sterol. That's what the name came. Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma is the one that has a sterols. Mycoplasma. That's what, what, what it happened because of sterol. It is smooth. It is smooth. It is smooth. It's the smallest bacteria. Of course, it's the smallest bacteria, but it's smooth. That's what it has. What motility, remember? Gliding, 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 gliding. Mycoplasma but smooth body fried egg fried egg fried egg she likes and she glides that's what you have gliding movement also but the question is like this uh, which is the only better that has sterols around the cell membrane means it is your mycoplasma so without cell wall of course that's also again mycoplasma mycoplasma why mycoplasma me kya nahi hai? mycoplasma doesn't has a Cell wall, that's what gram stain is useless. That's what gram stain is useless. Gram stain, gram stain is useless for mycoplasma or it will not work. Okay, useless. Got it. No, bacterial cell wall with mycolic acid. Mycolic acid, are you getting something? Mycolic acid? Yes, acid, acid, which is the acid first? Acid first. Am I hearing mycobacterium? Very good. So that is mycobacterium. Mycobacterium. Mycobacterium TB or leprosy or whatever. So mycobacterium, uh, ideally, you, you want to say one mycobacterium tuberculosis. Leprosy also comes because that also has mycolic acid. But then really cell wall with mycolic acid, mycobacterium TB. So now usually cell wall has muramic acid. But there is one bacteria that is not having muramic. Who is that? Who is that? Chlamydia. Chlamydia. Chlamydia doesn't have a muramic acid. Please remember, okay? Mycolic acid, that's what the name mycobacterium TB, which is uh, called uh, mycobacterium all species. Especially TB we are talking here. And cell wall without muramic acid means Chlamydia. Chlamydia doesn't have muramic acid. Okay. Very simple and easy. Now, glycocalyx. What is a glycocalyx? Glycocalyx is a substance that forms your, which one? Your capsule. So now, what are the things? Uh, we were going to talk about the glycocalyx. So what are the glycocalyx here? Uh, whenever we we, we can uh, say it is like this. When the glycocalyx is compactly arranged, we call it as a capsule. But when the glycocalyx is loosely arranged, we call it as a slime layer, slime layer, okay, slime layer. So can you give me one classic example of a slime layer or slim? Who is slim trim? Who is slim slim? Who is that slim girl? Ekta Kapoor. Ekta Kapoor is the slim girl. I'll tell you why. Don't worry. I know what you guys are thinking. Ekta Kapoor. Okay. But Ekta Kapoor has what? Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas, pseudomonas. Me kyu ekta kapur ka naam idhar leke aagya pseudomonas me because pseudomonas ka ek disease hai ektima gangrenosum. Ektima, ektima, 
मैंग्रीनोसुम ये बहुत बार पूछ चुका है आपके एग्जाम में That's what I'm stressing on it. Ekthima, ekta kapur, ekta kapur, pseudo mana, she's a slim, trim, fit girl. Okay, uska colorful hota hai. That's what it produces pigment. Both are pigments. We're going to talk in pseudo manas mein. Alag, she smells, uh, you know, a sweet odor. You know, she has a sweet, beautiful, sweet odor she has, and a lot of disease comes. Okay, we'll talk about that. Colorful pus also. Okay, blue pus, green pus, everything comes under your. Ekta kapur. I love pseudomonas. That's the reason. Okay. Now see. Now, 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 no, no. What is this? What is this picture it has? This is the capsule. So this is the one. See you. The background is stain, and uh, this is a. Uh, you're going to tell me now. What is the stain? It is a negative stain. Yes, it's a negative stain. So negative stain. The background is stain, but the capsule is not. So this white. What you're seeing? That is the capsule. This is the capsule. Okay. Capsule. So now, now another even capsule. A lot of questions can be asked. So now, can you tell me what is the capsule? So capsule is outside, say outside layer. So what is the function of it? That means so it has anti anti phagocytic anti phagocytic function. And usually it is made up of what substance? Usually it is made up of what? Usually it's made up of polysaccharide. Usually it's made up of polysaccharide. That means it is made up of glucose or made up of carbohydrates. Polysaccharide. Except there are two exceptions you're going to tell me. Bacillus anthraxis, this is all our questions. Please remember, capsule is very, very important. You have a lot of questions. Usually polysaccharide. But what about bacillus anthraxis? Bacillus anthraxis is not polysaccharide. Instead, what they have? Poly. Polypeptide, polypeptide. That means how to remember A anthrax, A for amino acid. You know polypeptides of protein. So amino acid is the one that is modding polypeptide. Especially if you're talking about D-glutamate, D-glutamate, D-glutamate. Okay, okay. They were asked a few times, but at least you know that it's a polypeptide. It's not polysaccharide. And Streptococcus again has what? Hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid. That's the beauty of streptococcus. Streptococcus is hyaluronic acid also and hyaluronidase also. Okay, that's one of the reasons why the pus is very loose and then the, the infection spreads very fast. Example is cellulitis. You remember streptococcus spices for cellulitis, the whole leg red in color, especially in diabetes patient. That's the reason because of this only. This hyalur hyaluronic acid and hyaluronidase. Both have important role in causing that type of infections. Okay, now that we have done. Now let's go into the capsule. Ka. These are the two important things. Now, uh, what are the, in which cases, which patients Increase, there's an increased chance of getting capsulated organisms. Oh, I love this question. Many times they have been asked it. And also, we are giving that vaccination. We are giving streptococcus vaccination for that purpose only. We are giving streptococcus pneumonia, especially pneumococcus vaccine, also given for that type of patient. Which type of patient is that? Which type of patient is that? Those are splenectomy. Splenectomy patients. Don't forget. Splenectomy patient, there's increased risk of capsulated organisms. Don't forget. Okay. Don't forget. It's very important. Now, organisms with capsule. Organisms with capsule, the shortcut, you know, everyone knows. This is like, you know, even the school kids, they know these days. When you ask about organisms with capsule, the shortcut is they'll tell that some killers have pretty nice capsule. Some killers have pretty nice body capsule. Okay. Some killers have pretty nice body capsule. So, remember, remember. Okay. So, what are those? Can I, tell, can I go with now? Okay. What are the? Some S yes, stands for which has a capsule Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae is the it's a king because of its capsule only. You know, just high mortality. You know, you get to Streptococcus pneumoniae, patient is done. Ninety nine percentage patient will not be alive. You know, that type of dangerous infection. That's all because of capsule, capsule, capsule. And the other one is your Klebsiella. Klebsiella enterobacteria. This is very special. Enterobacteria family. Klebsiella has a very important role uh, in causing a lot of infections. That is also again because of the capsule and have. H for H influenza, H influenza. If you remember, a lot of meningitis causing infections all are because of this organisms having capsule. H influenza one, and then this is the pretty, pretty nice capsule. Pretty is your who is slim, who is slim. Ekta kapur, ekta kapur is caused by ekta kapur has what? Pseudomonas. P pretty pseudomonas, pseudomonas, pseudomonas. Okay, and nice, nice for Neisseria, Neisseria, Neisseria. Okay, uh, nice is for Neisseria. Neisseria also has capsule, especially meningitis. If you see that's what it causes meningitis. Yeah, that's what. Okay, yes. And body, 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 B, 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 B for Bacillus anthraxis, Bacillus anthraxis. But the only thing is that here the capsule is made up of polypeptide. Everywhere it is polysaccharide, only this is anthraxis polypeptide. That's what I want you to remember. And capsule, which is that only, only, only fungus that is capsulated. There are other fungus also, but for examination point of view, there's only one fungus which is capsulated. Which is that fungus? Which is that fungus? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Am I hearing cryptococcus? Very good. Cryptococcus. Cryptococcus. Excellent. Cryptococcus. So this is
is it? Some killers have pretty nice body capsules. Some killers have pretty nice body capsules. Even if you forgot also, remember the dangerous bacteria which is causing meningitis. Example, pneumonia, H. influenza, Neisseria, Cryptococcus. These all are meningitis causing bacteria. So easily it causes. You know, that's, you know, what clue you need. Okay, nice. That's it. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, what are the tests to detect the capsule? What are the tests? You know that one. What is the stain? What is the stain we use? Who are the negative people? Who are the negative people in the earth? There are two people. They are very negative. Negative. Who are that is the stain is negative stain. What are the negative? One is Indian ink. India ink and other one is Indian people and Negro people. Negrosin, Negrosin, Negrosin are the two negative stain. Both but which okay question B for sure. You're going to expect this question. Okay, that's it. That's for capsule, negative stain, negative stain for capsule, negative, 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 capsule. Okay, that's it. Now, what about the reaction? What is this reaction? When you have a capsule, anti-capsule anti antibody, you add it and the capsule just swell it. I mean, when this is a, this is, uh, you, you just take the slide or whatever you make it, you just normal bacteria, you are going to add the antibody. If you add, then what happened? The normal, uh, this capsule, it starts to swell. It becomes a big swelling, okay? Like this. So what is that? What is that reaction is called? Any idea? What do you call this? Yeah, Kullens. Yes. Q E L L U N G. Kullens reaction. Kullens reaction. Swelling of the capsule. This is for almost all bacteria. Usually, we speak for Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae, usually, but it is this cooling reaction can done for all capsulated bacteria. All capsulated bacteria, except, except which capsulator? Except for your anthrax bacillus anthrax why again and again i'm repeating bacillus anthrax mein polysaccharide capsule nahi hai wahan par hai polypeptide polypeptide uska wajah se what is the other reaction for uh, bacillus anthrax is bacillus anthrax am i hearing something starts with m m yes macfadian's reaction mac Fadian's reaction, McFadian's reaction, I simply call this Maddie reaction, okay, for Bacillus anthraxis, Bacillus anthrax, Bacillus anthrax, I, I, I always remember Bessie, the girl, the Bessie, B-A-C-C, B-A-C-C, uh, Bacillus, you usually, I, I call it as a Bassi, Bassi is a girl, her boyfriend is Maddie, 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 boyfriend is Maddie, Bassi, her boyfriend Maddie, hai. Maddie reaction is for capsule, because of its poly peptide we have different type of macfadian reaction we nothing you just adding the polychromethylene blue okay it's very simple m for m macfadian what you are adding you are adding the methylene blue methylene blue and then you get a purple color demonstration will be there and latex agglutination test is for the quick test don't forget for capsule you want a rapid test immediate test then you can do your latex agglutination test also i mean apart from studying this latex is more uh, sensitive oh okay now 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 no. let's go to biofilm biofilm is very another important thing Biofilm, where you remember? Biofilm, you can remember biofilm. Biofilm is there wherever there is catheter, uh, catheter, IV kernel, whatever, you know what happened. These bacteria are very smart. They produce their own slime layer, as you talk about pseudomon slime layer, and the slime itself makes like a coating. It makes a coating around the bacteria like a blanket. You know, it makes its own blanket and then, uh, you know, get under it. So that's what treatment will be very difficult for biofilm forming bacteria, like pseudomonas, E. coli, a lot of uh, uh, other bacteria also. So that's the biofilm. Okay. So this is basically a cluster of bacteria, cluster of bacteria uh, existing in the matrix of slime and polysaccharide. What is the function again? It is again giving the protection, just for the protection. It protects the bacteria from the host and antibiotics. That's what we have difficulty in treating uh, the bacteria which is producing this thing. Again, who produces this biofilm? Your favorite girl, Ekta Kapoor Pseudomonas. Ekta Kapoor Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas. Okay, that's it. E. coli also sometimes. And many, uh, commonly these two, but there are other bacteria also which produces this type of creatures. Okay, now let's go to cell wall. Now gram positive and gram negative cell wall. You see the picture. When you see the picture, you see this is a gram positive. First one, this is a gram positive, and this is a gram negative. Okay, this is the picture. By seeing the picture only, you can already identify that the peptidoglycan layer is thick here. The peptidoglycan layer is thick in the gram positive, but it is very thin in the gram negative. It's thin. Okay, this is positive. Here it is negative. It's it's thin. And special thing here is you have tacoic acid. <laughs> Here we don't have tacoic acid. So what we have? Lipopolysaccharide. Gram negative as lipopolysaccharide, which produces what? Your, your endotoxin. Endotoxin. I'm stressing endotoxin here because you have a lot of questions. That was endotoxins produced only in gram negative bacteria. Because only in gram negative bacteria, we have lipopolysaccharide. Okay. Got it? 
ग्राम पॉजिटिव में क्या है टेकोइक एसिड है ग्राम पॉजिटिव में टेकोइक एसिड हाउ टू रिमेम्बर दैट आई विल टेल यू नाउ सो पेप्टोग्लिकन लेयर आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू क्या क्या याद करना है इधर यू हैव टू थिंक ग्राम पॉजिटिव द पेप्टोग्लिकन लेयर इज थिक हियर इट्स थिन टीबी में इट्स जस्ट प्रेजेंट देयर इज नथिंग टू नो मच अबाउट दैट स्पेशल स्ट्रक्चर्स इन ग्राम पॉजिटिव ग्राम पॉजिटिव 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 है सो उसका एक पॉजिटिव जैसे टी जैसा लग रहा है ना टी लेक ओके सो टेकोइक एसिड टेकोइक एसिड पॉजिटिव में सी देखो कंफ्यूजन नहीं आना टेकोइक एसिड इज पॉजिटिव बिकॉज पॉजिटिव का टी का सेम 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 ओके सेम सेम सो टी टी टेकोइक एसिड आउटर मेम्ब्रेन ये आई रिट ग्राम नेगेटिव हैज व्हाट एल पी एस लिपोपोलीसेकराइड लेयर व्हिच इज द रीजन फॉर एंडोटॉक्सिन सो ग्राम नेगेटिव में सिर्फ ओनली ग्राम नेगेटिव या एंडोटॉक्सिन नॉट इन द ग्राम पॉजिटिव ओके now uh, in a tb in tb what we have we just spoke about it instead of uh, the, spe the special thing in a tb tb is acid 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 first bacteria so what do you expect there mycolic acid mycolic acid and lipoarabin arabinone also okay lipo arabinone arabinone okay that's it so these are the, the cell wall structures of gram positive gram negative toxins toxins are exam is favorite topic if you don't know this please don't go to the exam okay exotoxin and endotoxin you don't enter the exam hall if you are not sure about the toxins because you know one that one question you will stand at uh, fmg students for 115 149 you will stand because of you making mistake confused questions like this etc etc et et so i already give you clue what did i say endotoxin ka already maine bola which is the endotoxin lipopolysaccharide lps lipopolysaccharide means it is for gram negative people lps here exo uh, lipopolysaccharide that is basically uh, lipopolysaccharide is what sir polysaccharide so it's a carbohydrate sugars where your exotoxin that is made up of protein exotoxins of protein okay ho gaya isse aapko abhi sab you can cover it ye endotoxin if you remember lps mean lps to pata lipo polysaccharide endotoxin is a non specific one non specific matlab kai koi bhi bimari dengue chicken ki new whatever infection you get you know what happen you the reason for all your fever mal is that this all the symptoms are because of what this endotoxins right that's non specific now So already we talked. Endotoxins produce only in the gram-negative bacteria, gram-negative bacteria, where your exotoxin is produced by both gram-positive and gram-negative, both gram-positive and gram-negative. Yes, right. You know that endotoxin is specific gram-negative, but exotoxin is produced by all gram-positive, gram-negative. Now, already we are talking about. Uh, yeah, already see this uh, non-specific may LPS is causing non-symptom like it causes high fever, everything you know this fever giver, all this type of things comes in the endotoxin. So what it should be already fever hai, so heat should be resistant or sensitive. Heat is already there, so even if you put a fire on fire, of course it will be resistant. Nothing is going to happen. That's what it is. Heat resistant. This is heat resistant. Okay, this is heat resistant, and this is heat sensitive. Heat sensitive, resistant and sensitive, right? And now next, none. What about? I told you, endotoxins or exotoxins or protein. So it's immunogenic because it's protein. It's immunogenic, but these ones are lipopolysaccharides. So it is not antigenic. It is not not immunogenic, or uh, it doesn't cause any uh, immunogenic reactions. Okay, not immunogenic. This is non-specific. Got it? Very simple. Endotoxin, non-specific. Endotoxin, gram-negative. Endotoxin, fever. All non-specific. That's what it is. Heat resistant. That's what it is. So lipopolysaccharides are not immunogenic. Only proteins are immunogenic. Okay, not your carbohydrates or fats. So that's also another fact to remember. So better, better, better. Use the concept just for this. Endotoxin is okay. Please use the concept for rest and rest. Don't use concept. You remember by some shortcuts, a clues like Ekta Kapoor, Adnan Swami, or so many people I'm going to bring here. So in that way, you remember. You'll never ever forget. That is for sure. You'll never ever make mistake. Especially for I'm talking for again for FMG students who have. Not studied at all when you are in Russia or in China or whatever you just had fun. So please remember this is a good opportunity for you. You don't have to regret for whatever the things uh, happened there. Okay, so it's my guarantee that these are the things you will never ever forget. Okay, now let's go to some of the toxins mechanisms. Toxin mechanism. What are the toxins? You know, so protein synthesis inhibitor. Protein synthesis. Uh, see, we have toxins. No, there are different type of uh, mainly exotoxins. We are talking about exotoxins mechanisms here. So they act in different type of ways, and then you have question based on that only. Now, protein synthesis inhibitors. The first one is sixty inhibitor. That is, if you ribosome, no, sixty yes inhibitors are there. So who are the two? Six for sixty, and yes, yes, sixty means sixty. Yes, yes. So who is that? Yes, yes. Shigala. Shigala, Shila, Shiga. Shiga is the six. Shiga, Shika, Auntie, sixty years. Shika, Auntie, sixty years old. Okay, yes, for sixty, sixty. 
So shigala and shigala like shigala like toxin. Shigala like toxin is produced by which one? Shigala like toxin produced by your E. coli. Okay, E. coli. So shigala shigala like toxin. Yes, yes, double S. Okay. Elongation factor inhibitor is frequently, very frequent. Last question. You can open your book and see many times repeated. Okay. Elongation factor inhibitors. The first one is the most important one is what your coronabacterium diphtheria. That is for sure. You must know coronabacterium diphtheria. Diphtheria. Other one is other one is your again. Who, 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 your Ekta Kapur pseudomona, 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 pseudomona. Okay. Elongation factor inhibitors are just these two. Coronavirus diphtheria and pseudomonas. That's the reason for all the pathogenesis in your pseudomonas and the coronavirus diphtheria. Especially coronavirus diphtheria, the question is frequently asked. Okay. So please remember that. That means uh, diphtheria toxin and pseudomonas toxin act in this way. Okay. Now, neurotoxins. Neurotoxins, this is very easy. You're not going to make mistake in this for sure. I know that. So tell me now. So neurotoxins, let's talk about your botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin, it inhibits which, 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 which one, which, which mediator, which neuromediator? Acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a, a stimulatory mediator. So if you acetylcholine is stimulated, then of course, instead of what they have, um, they have a spastic or they have placid. Of course, they have placid paralysis. Placid paralysis, botulinum toxin. We'll talk about clostridium separately. Now remember, of course, it is the infant botulism is by honey and the adult botulism is by the food, direct toxin. In, in children, in infant, it is the ingestion of the spores. Okay. And they cause flaccid paralysis. Clostridium tetany. Clostridium tetany, it inhibits the inhibitory mediators like your glycine and GABA. Glycine and GABA. So if the inhibitory is gone, then what happens? Everything will dance. That means your stimulatory will go high. That means they have spastic paralysis. You know, that's what tetanus is very spastic. You know, spastic, everything is spastic. You have trismus, uh, opisthotonus, and you have uh, this uh, log jaw. All the symptoms, all the symptoms. Okay, it comes because what? It's a spastic paralysis. That's what. Okay, you got it. Now, CCAM. Uh, CCAM, this is important, frequently asked question. At least for one disease, you must know that is what? CCAM, how to remember the shortcut is if you want in a in a camp, C camp or in a camp. Okay, there is one more camp. The real camp, the real camp, you know, that is different. The real camp test, that is a camp test. That is which one? You remember? Streptococcus. Yeah, which one? Group B. That is Agalactia. Agalactia. Okay. That is group B streptococcus. Group B streptococcus. That is different. And reverse camp is by your Clostridium perfringis. Mr. Perfect reverse camp. I'll talk about that later. I'm not bringing it here. So now here's this camp. This cyclic, the cyclic AMP. Okay. But for short cut, remember the camp. So camp, you need what extra cap? Whenever you go to a camp, you need an extra cap. Cap, cap. So what is E? E for ET. ET is the enterotoxin, toxigenic E. coli, for enterotoxinic E. coli. And other C, C for cholera. That's what I'm saying. Cholera, vibrio cholera mechanism is cyclic camp, camp, camp. This has many times. So you remember. Okay. And of course, your uh, the bacillus anthrax is an A, A for anthrax, anthrax, and P for pertussis. Pertussis toxins also, this question was asked frequently. Pertussis also asked frequently. So remember, cyclic AMP is asked by CAP. For CAMP, cyclic AMP, for CAMP, you need an extra CAP. Extra CAP. That's it. Okay. Got it. Now, cytotoxins. Cytotoxins, uh, you know, cytotoxins produce many vectors, but usually two important things are here. Clostridium perfringis and staphylococcus. Clostridium perfringis produce with and lacy. Tinase, lecithinase, yeah, lecithinase, Mr. Perfect, lecithinase, okay, that is the one which causes the gas gangrene, you know, and the lecithinase, the one I was talking about, what reverse camp, it has the reverse camp, reverse camp test, we have a reverse camp test positive, and there's a negless reaction positive, litmus milk test positive, all beautiful things comes for Mr. Perfect, clostridium perfringes, wait for some time, we will talk about that also later, okay, yeah, and uh, Staphylococcus aureus. What about super antigens? Super antigens, you know, super antigen is you know, what is different? A normal antigen, super antigen. Is, uh, I mean, we have finished with the uh, these toxins. Now we are going to the super antigen. Super antigen is normally we have antigen. What is super antigen? Super antigen is basically they act on the TCR receptor on your uh, in your uh, VB region of antibodies. Okay, and then they what? They cause a massive, massive cytokine release that's the idea normal in normal antigen they release a particular amount of cytokine through all the t cells t helper t cytotoxic and they do this thing but this one it binds directly to the t cells a tcr reagent of the t cells and then they cause the release of cytokine excess cytokine that leads to the shock and when you talk about super toxin super antigen you remember two bacteria should come in your mind 
Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. Okay. Super antigen, super who is Superman here? Streptococcus and Staphylococcus are the Superman. In Staphylococcus aureus, if you remember, it is the TSST, toxic shock syndrome toxin, and also Staphylococcus enterotoxin. Entero, enterotoxin. Repeated question. So please remember TSST enterotoxin. And Streptococcus pyogens, we have one. Yes, PE. That is the Streptococcus pyrogenic toxin. Streptococcus pyrogenic toxin or uh, uh, pyrogenic enterotoxin. Got it? That's what. So, streptococcus, streptococcus for your super antigens. Okay. Easy. Very easy, right? You will never forget. Never ever forget. Super antigens. Staph and strepto are super. That's what they're always in the top number one. Number one bacteria. Whenever you're talking, whenever you're starting systemic bacteriology, the first bacteria will be staph and streptococcus only. Okay. Super. Because they're super antigens. Yes, yes. Now, flagella. Flagella also, again, important. Examiner's favorite, favorite, favorite. So when you talk about flagella, it can be a single, it can be, you know, at one side, lophotrichus, or it can be, you know, amphitrichus means at the ends, okay, amphitrichus at the ends, and then peritrichus all over the body. Most of them, pathogenic ones are peritrichus. Most of them are peritrichus. Like what example? Your E. coli, your uh, proteus, all these things comes under peritrichus, okay? Monotrichus, two important things you should know. One is the Vibrio cholerae, Vibrio cholera, monotrichus, and also your pseudomonas. Pseudomonas. Okay. So, yeah. They are uh, not that much asked, but then, you know, you never know, you know, unipolar, unipolar flagella seen in. Okay. A, one is Vibrio cholerae and then the pseudomonas. Okay. How to remember? Two pretty girls, right? Two pretty girls. Two pretty girls, but a single ponytail. Who are they? One is Viba. And other one is your Ekta Kapur. Ekta Kapur. Ekta Kapur Sudamunas and Viba also ponytail. Yes. If you remember one, one ponytail in the uh, in the in the in the in the virus, which is that single ponytail, single standard RNA, a single standard DNA. Sorry, single standard DNA. Exception was your pari, pari, exactly. Pari parvo virus, parvo virus, parvo also single standard. So I'm bringing all the singles here. Okay, so it's easy to remember. So Vibrio, Pseudomonas for the flagella, monoflagella. But when you talk about the single standard, single standard, what DNA virus? It's your pari, choti pari. That is the single standard, single standard D, uh, DNA virus. Okay, smallest virus also. Lophotrichus, lophotrichus, it's fine. Ampi, ampi is fine. And peritrichus, most equal things. Okay, amphitrichus it looks like this, and lophotrichus looks like this. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm not going to stress more here. Now use. What is the use? Of course, flagella means it should be for motility, definitely motility. So here, uh, so uses is the motility and uh, the flagella, flagella protein, flagella protein only three part. There is a basal body, hook and filament. It's a common one. Exoflagella is seen in the most of the most most bacteria, most important pathogenic bacteria, most pathogenic bacteria has exoflagella only. Okay, outside the flagella means what we are talking all outside. The but there is some bacteria pass where the flagella is inside. The flagella is inside. It's like this. It's like this. The, the flagella is inside it. Okay. What are, you, what are you thinking? What are you thinking when you see this? What you can see? These are these are spirochets. Very good. Spirochets. Spirochets. Spirochets are what? Borrelia, your tryponema, and leptospira. Borrelia, uh, tryponema, leptospira. Okay. We'll talk in detail. Don't worry. Now the types of motility. Another favorite question for most of the microbiologists or examiners, whoever, you know, even students, I'm sure you know. Darting motility, how you're going to remember? How you're going to remember? How you remember? Darling, hello, darling, Viba. You call your darling as a Viba, darling, Viba. Vibrio cholera, hogia. Vibrio cholera, hogia, hogia. Vibrio cholera. Very important, very important, easy, but you'll forget, please. That's what I'm saying. Or, or darling, Viba, hogia. Darling, Viba ka. What kya pasand uska? Star pasand hai. Star pasand. She likes star. Kya? Shooting star motility. Shooting star motility also. Shooting star motility. Viba is a star and she likes shooting star. We have pura vibrio cholera koiga. Corkscrew. Corkscrew matla. Corkscrew. Ese hota hai na? Screw to ese hota hai. Corkscrew. So iske dekhne mein apko yaad aana chahiye. Corkscrew is. Corkscrew is. Spirochetes. Spirochetes. Abhi upar humne padhe tha na? End of flagella. Same thing. All the spirochetes have what? Screw the spiral. Spiral or screw. They are same. Spiral or screw. Same meaning hai. So it's easy. Spirochetes. Spirochetes be as a scrooby as a so cox cox sumatri. Okay, got it. Now, next falling leaf. Falling leaf. Falling conse conse vegetable fall hota hai. Conse vegetable fall hota hai. You remember Gia? Gia is a bottle guard. Gia. Gia. That is Gia is a bottle guard. No? Gia, Gia, Gia is actually we call it as a 
bottle god bottle god in hindi it is gia so what is that gia giardia giardia has giardia has falling leaf motility giardia lamblia has a falling leaf motility very important question all this motility is definite question no way you're going to leave it so api you don't remember ese yaad karo gia gir jata hai gia gir jata hai okay so fall gia fall down okay the idea is you remember gia has fall down so that's what it is giardia gia falls down gia falls down okay hmm. no gliding who is gliding who is gliding smooth cone is smooth smooth diana smooth diana that is smooth diana is basically what who mycoplasma mycoplasma because uske paas cholesterol hai because of that okay mycoplasma okay giardia ho gaya mycoplasma ho gaya static statically motility statically motility ka there's nothing to remember clostridium ho gaya na stat statically motility ho gaya clostridium statically motility okay less time they ask but you never know you know so remember better tum tum aap internet pe bar bar if you go to check there is a tumbler list tumbler tumbler list naam ke na kuch aata hai tumbler list list likhe theek hai tum list ho gaya listeria 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 tum list tum list tum list listeria listeria very easy right very simple you don't have to worry at all you know even examination without revision you sit also these things will just strike gia gir jata hai theek hai uh, gliding who's gliding diana is gliding because she has cholesterol that's what it's mycoplasma beautiful right and then viba to is always darling and she is a star so darling viba darting motility or uh, she like star viba is a star so it is it is shooting star shooting star appearance you know because you can't trace the path of the uh, the bacteria you know they are doing lot of shortcuts we are even forgetting the main you know what is the real meaning of each things okay uh, anyway any doubts you can always you're welcome i can explain you also but now it's like a revision so that's what i'm i'm going fast and then you know to make you guys a little bit uh, clear the concept twitching twitching t40 t40 so t is what who is twitching trichomonas ho gaya trichomonas trichomonas vaginalis the strawberry vagina remember the one with the strawberry vagina All right this is the one okay so to attract uh, monus vaginalis that's it now the uh, the demonstration of motility so demonstration of motility we have a lot of methods but usually what hanging drop hanging drop wet mount wet mount hanging drop me you can see proper motility wet mount also but hanging drop is much better and semi solid agar you know usual uh, usual agar is 2 percentage but we want to check the motility you decrease the concentration you make 0.2 percentage right and what to inhibit the uh, swarming what you do to inhibit the swarming how many percentage agar you used inhibit the swarming remember it is 6% agar 6% agar okay 6% agar normal is normal agar how many percent it's just 2% 2% normal it's 2% agar okay that's usual and flagellation you can do some flagellation that's it so this is all about the motility okay so very easy very i am so glad that you know i i, I could teach bacteriology uh, the rest of the things will be continued uh, in a while okay thank you thank you so much I hope you guys, you know, the concepts are clear. So soon we will meet with other topic. Yeah, thank you.